Our mission values are about two things, perfection and responsibility. Everything we make should be as perfect as possible, and we have a responsibility toward our community, customers, and employees. When we were first introduced to Snoqualmie, one of the things that we realized is that people love stories, and people love stories that are genuine, authentic, and transparent. And um, one of the things that we, we recognized right away is the integrity and the collaboration, the passion, the engagement, and the creativity that Barry had, not only with his farm and the facility, but with the product. He was totally committed to the best ice cream I don't even want to say in Seattle or the Northwest or the United States, like in the world. And I, I, we, we saw him and said, he's a scientist of ice cream. Because we VAP pasteurize, we're able to make small 300 gallon batches for every unique flavor. In grocery stores, we offer single serve cups and pints. Our top seven flavors are Island Coconut, Muckle Tail Mud, Danish Vanilla Bean, Mint Chocolate Chip, French Lavender, Cascade Mountain Blackberry, and honey cinnamon frozen custard. Snoqualmie's greatest strength is just really the ingredients, the you know the flavor profiles that they create. It's just different and better than anything that you would find just in any ice cream case. Uh, some of our flavors that we use uh, with Snoqualmie, uh, we we do uh, a lavender ice cream, which is great in in the spring and, and early summer. Um, the checkered chocolate, which is you know a chocolate lover's dream. Uh, Danish vanilla, which um, you know is probably our number one uh, selling ice cream. So there are hundreds of ice creams throughout the country, but I guarantee that when consumers taste this product and experience this brand, Snoqualmie becomes their favorite overnight. When they first came into the county to ask about doing the project, building here, and getting the permits, the county had never before issued any permits or had to deal with anything like this. He's the first one to come in and want to do pervious concrete and swales and rain gardens that actually took care of the water and the environment while he was rehabbing this building. We don't have any runoff from this site because of our pervious concrete and our rain garden. For farms, one of the biggest problems is runoff. And every time you pour concrete, water sits there, it runs into a ditch, the ditch runs into a creek, the creek runs into the river. We have increased flooding, we have increased water on farmlands. By being responsible and taking care of the water right here on the farm, using that water to water plants that are here that go into making great ice cream, that's fantastic. When we put the mini farm in, we originally didn't plan on having chickens. But then we learned that most chickens from factory farms are just killed and composted. And we didn't want to be part of that system. Okay. So we, when we make honey cinnamon, that's a frozen custard. So we take our own eggs and we add that to the recipe. And then the spices, anything we make with spices, the spices get cooked in as part of the pasteurizing process, which really deepens the flavor. So instead of adding a, a cinnamon flavor to the ice cream mix later, it's part of the actual recipe. So we grow our own lavender, and that's the lavender we use in our ice cream. So we infuse the lavender in hot cream for about three hours, strain the lavender out, and that's the cream we use for our lavender ice cream. Because of our energy saving systems, including our solar panels, we're able to cut our utility bills in half. We converted all of our refrigeration systems from water-cooled to air-cooled, and we're saving over 200 gallons of water an hour. Refrigeration systems generate a lot of waste heat, and we use that waste heat to heat all of our water for production and heat our building in the winter. Once you decide to become sustainable, it's a never-ending journey. There, seems, there always seems to be more we can do. There, you look around this place, they're growing things that they're putting right directly into the ice cream. It becomes one sustainable world when it comes to ice cream. There's no better company in ice cream that's representing the Northwest better than Snoqualmie ice cream. We've had people from different parts of the world say, wow, this ice cream is amazing, where can I get it? We source locally because we can reduce the amount of transportation of the ingredients in our ice cream, and we can also support the local economy. The Space Needle is an icon of Seattle, and there's no better ice cream than Snoqualmie ice cream to represent the Northwest. Since we purchased the company in 1997, our company's grown between 10 and 20% every year. 
Snoqualmie's brand ultimately is about the product. It's about the perfect ice cream. It's about using the best ingredients. It's about using ingredients that are natural. It's about using ingredients that are sustainable. And that story is what's so important for consumers and consumers love that story. We believe that sustainability and relationships are just as important as making the most perfect ice cream.